Residents of Comorant Street at Lace Cassowary Road were subjected to intimidation by the National Housing Corporation officials and a private security firm. NHC staff and two vehicles loaded with security guards armed with bush knives went into the NHC homes and forcefully moved out personal property as well as chopped down plants surrounding the houses. Prior to the eviction, the tenants said they received a letter telling them they had only seven days to vacate the property. Tamara Yassi is the daughter of one of the lessees. Her dad was in Port Mosby when they were forced out of the home they had occupied for six years. Like normally I'm processing also give me one month and then about 21 days, being seven days now evictions are come up. Within seven days they'll just rush me or pack him or something and move out. Look at police too. Oxy Lama Dep Security Service are two placar. Oxymol come, they'll just march into a house, or let all buy for so lap or something come outside. Irene Naraman Messi is the wife of a sheriff at the Lake Courthouse. They had initially taken out a restraining order against getting evicted from the house that was initially leased to her husband's late mother. After amending the name of the lessee, the family paid a portion of the arrears. We pay some bills when we to tenancy agreement form. No, we give you plan. So we pay some money go inside. One thousand kina we pay give no tenancy agreement form. Messi claimed they gave 1,000 kina to the NHC regional manager, Andrew Augui, to amend their form, a claim that he has vehemently denied. So, I wait here, I go here, I give them money here, I have a lawyer and a housing commission. Still, I wait here, the tenancy agreement form, I work with something or a professional. NHC legal officer and provincial manager Matthew Limu, who also denied receiving any money from the tenants, said the eviction was not forceful. At the property, we've noticed that they've already packed up the belongings in preparation for their vacation. The private security firm that was used was linked to KC2 Limited, an Asian-owned business that NHC owes money to. It is believed NHC plans to hand over the property to offset the debt. We're waiting for the management decision to come forward with uh, whatever decision they make. Uh, like I said, uh, the substantial amount in liabilities to KC2 by previous uh, regime, and um, it's the progress of the management. Whether we sell or we lease it out again. Salome Vincent, TV One News.